Hi, I'm Alex Beach at Baltusrol Golf Club, and I'm here to hopefully help you simplify your short game with controlling your wedge distance. Uh, we're going to start with a 30-yard shot. I get a lot of questions on how to set up for shots like this, and I think there's a consistent way you can set up to help any shot that isn't quite a full swing. So let's start with a 30-yard shot. We're pretty close to the green. We don't have any trouble in front of us, so let's go through a couple steps to make this shot a little easier. The first consideration is club selection. I myself carry four wedges, a pitching wedge, a 50, 54, and a 60, and you can use whichever one you're most comfortable with. My general rule of thumb would be go with a lesser lofted club so you have to do less work to get the ball there. The more loft you add, the more you're going to have to hit the shot. So I've got a 60 degree here, and the biggest thing with this is setup. What I like to do is set the ball up off my back foot for a left-handed golfer, that's my left foot, and my hands over my right and it creates a little bit of a shaft lean, and what that helps with is ensuring when I hit the shot through contact, I'm gonna hit the ball first and not the ground. This will take away the miss of a skull or catching it a little fat and creating a big divot. Then from there, in terms of the shot, I like to keep my weight a little forward and really feel like I'm utilizing my shoulders. This is not a shot where you're gonna have a lot of wrist action and you're gonna kind of rely on your bigger muscles to help you out. So to hit this shot most effectively, again, our little checklist, ball off your back foot, hands over your front foot, weight a little forward, and all I'm gonna try and do is rock my shoulders, which should create a pretty simple shot. Again, not a lot of wrist action. I'm gonna try and land this most of the way to the hole. It should take a hop or two and then stop. See if we can do it. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, now let's go ahead and move back and talk about a 60 yard shot. So now we've moved back to about 60 yards away and let's talk about some of the changes we're gonna make. The biggest one is club selection. I'm gonna go ahead and set my 60 degree wedge down and I'm gonna switch to a 54. So by taking less loft, I can hit almost the same shot I just did from 30 yards, but by changing the club, I'm gonna get the extra distance that I need. So setup wise is gonna be pretty much the same. So let's go through a little checklist again. Ball back, hands a little forward, weight a little forward, and I'm just gonna feel like I use my shoulders again. Again, relying on those big muscles to take the shot rather than the small ones, okay? Now, I don't tend to bring the club back very far. Some of you at home, you feel free to go a little higher if you want to. This is just where I'm comfortable. So let's go ahead and do it. Weight a little forward, rock back, and through. And again, what it creates is a very nice shot. It's gonna come out with quite a bit of spin because the contact is good and that comes from how we set up to the shot. So now we've taken it back to about an 80 yard shot and I'm gonna go through the same thought process I did moving from 30 yards to 60. First choice is gonna be club selection. I'm gonna go ahead and put my 54 degree wedge back and I'm gonna go to my 50. So again, I can create the same shot, same setup, but by changing the club, I'm gonna get that extra 15, 20, 25 yards that I need. Um, now, because this is a little further away, it's closer to a full swing, so I'm not gonna be as narrow with my lower body. There's still gonna be a little bit of a weight transfer with this shot, but the same principle stands where ball a little bit back, hands and weight forward, being that you wanna ensure you get good contact. You know, I, I like to hit these a little lower, but they go in with so much spin that I have complete control over it. And especially on a day like this where it's a little windy, that can pay dividend over 18 holes of golf. So if I were gonna hit this ball, Again, a little wider, club is still a little back, hands a little forward, and I'm gonna feel about the same swing. Maybe a little bit more of a turn, you know, but probably not going past, you know, nine o'clock if you like the clock theory, or you can think of it kind of as zones, zone one, two, and three. Any wedge shot, in my opinion, should never really reach zone three or go above shoulder high. Um, that's just how I like to hit them. It's a consistency thing. I can hit them very, simple and easy and for me that creates a lot of comfort in this area of the golf game. Okay, so let's go through a little checklist, ball back, hands forward, I'm going to turn back and finish through. And again, it comes out a little low but it's got so much spin that it's going to stop on the green and leave yourself a good putt.